Okay, another micro mineral or trace element is cobalt. Um, and I suppose if we go over here, um, deficiencies do occur in cobalt. It's a wider range and very little report of cobalt toxicity. Um, it has interactions, and that's probably the key thing to remember about cobalt supplementation, is cobalt plays a key role in the rumen of ruminant animals uh, in the production of B12, um, vitamin B12, which is a key role in metabolism and delivering glucose production and energy. So, um, B12 is synthesized in the rumen by rumen bugs and cobalt is required in that process. If you look at animals that are susceptible to cobalt deficiencies, you know, if we talk about in sheep, they can look have that loose fleece, that ill thrift, they're just not thriving, and which can be a lot of, again, non-specific symptoms. Um, you can see it in growing animals in calves, it's been reported in the calving time because cows, again, with that energy, cobalt has been suggested as being a component uh, to, to that energy metabolism required around calving time. Um, so it, it's key to look at it from that perspective that it's involved in energy metabolism. So if I look at, if I look at sheep as well, their wool growth is involved in their, uh, the amino acids and the B12, the amino acids required for wool growth, um, B12, B12 plays a role. So again, that's why sheep and growing lambs probably are more at risk, but it does play a role in, in uh, growing calves as well. So it is a, a micro mineral. Um, it is, uh, there's a lot of new research coming out about cobalt uh, really around thrive. And again, with all these conditions and all these minerals, when you have a lack of thrive, it's not always minerals, but it's good to consider the role that cobalt does play, and particularly with its interaction with B12 in that rumen.